All right, having a good solid wall to exercise against is pretty essential because there's some good stuff you can do with the wall that I've been learning actually. It's taken me all this time to figure it out and I'd like to show you what I have come up with here. This is relatively new so I gotta figure out uh, in the long term how this is gonna be effective. But uh, let me start out by showing these reverse like Mike Tyson type push-ups that I'm calling them that because it's it's reversed of what he's doing just simply pushing your head up against the wall and trying to push the wall over with my hands I can push with my knees as well and I'm putting a lot of pressure on the top of my, my head and I gotta say that a cushion is essential actually but I'm just kind of doing this for demonstration purposes that I want to push and it's kind of a neck workout too you know how um, the uh, cows and sheep and all rams they like to butt heads they do this and they work on this kind of strength you want to have this kind of strength the butt heads, this push forward type of strength. And just, just push. It takes some time to, to get that fatigue. It's also a good back stretch too. Compress the neck and then stretch the back. But yeah, it's, it's not that comfortable without a cushion. And then just drop into to push ups. And then and go right back to it now that my my pecs are just a little bit more tired go back to it oh I felt a little pop in my back upper back so something's going on I'm changing up the dynamic of the strength also let me just I just got kind of a weird idea here what if I wanted to push sideways That's different. I could use one hand or two and just try to, even with my, my knee, and just push. This is an isometric. And movement helps if you can do that. It looks like I can rock back and forth both sides. And I can, I can push against that the wall for a little tightening of the muscles. Which is always, always desired. Just push against the wall. I was also thinking that um, I could uh, do some uh, some side planks pushing against the wall, and then this eliminates the need to worry about balance. And just entirely focus on uh, the obliques. Maybe do some motion. Ow. <clears throat> just only having my upper back push against the wall. <clears throat> so the wall is really, really useful for, for a lot of exercises. Because it takes away that need to balance. And it allows you to create new dimensions you're not just limited to this Mike Tyson push-up where you're pushing against the wall with your feet right or keeping your feet up in the up in the wall and pushing against it because I'm I can push And also get on my knees and push using my shoulders to, to fight back against the push. You're not just limited to the Mike Tyson style 
of push-up. You could do other forms of exercise. I like this one, the bridge. You could do a bridge against the wall and take pressure off of your, your hands and put that pressure on your head. Cushion would help a little. And I'm putting strain more on my back than my arms. And that's a good variety. Oh man, I'm so out of shape. But I'm just starting out with this idea. Just the, the various things you can know, the, you know, the basic one, just lean up against the wall and spread them and then push. That's classic, but you got ground exercises that you can do as well. Maybe even just get kind of weird. I mean, this is, this is a stretch that I like to do against the wall. I rarely get a chance to do this. Just lay on my back with my glutes against the wall and just stretch. This isn't exactly an exercise, but I need a break. It's just a nice stretch. But yeah, take a break and then get right back to it and do some more your rams. You can even pretend to be a ram too and just charge. Just uh, go ahead and charge. But uh, a cushion is very welcoming. And you probably, if you wanna work your upper body, you wanna focus the pushing on your hands. I've, I've been playing around with just simply holding like this and trying to push my hands in and my knees forward. You know, that's that's a little something, but pushing against a wall gives a better dimension, I think. Having a resist, something to resist against. And then you can lean back and... Uh, <sighs> but yeah, a wall, a wall is a magnificent thing to have when you can find it. I actually have to, um, I don't always find a good wall like this, you know, in, a, in an abandoned building. I have to sometimes, I've been, while learning, playing with this, I have to sometimes use uh, my car, use the side of my car. And I was thinking that you could just use a pole too, I'm sure, or a tree. Just use a pole or a tree and just butt up against it. You know, anything that's got solid surface, and you can just push and really, you know, get something different, do something different to, to, help, to help confuse the muscles, to help change up the, the, the movement. Because just doing push-ups and, and simply, simply just changing your hand stance, I was watching this video of this guy He was talking about how he just simply changed his hand stance. And he was, I mean, he's a big guy, big, strong looking guy. And he said that all he did to build up his, his body is, you know, do a, a wide stance, do a, do a diamond, or I don't know, what else did he say? Just, uh, you know, just change up your hands or whatever, just, Stuff like that, but I, I say make more use of a of a wall and and get the benefits of that instead of just only. I mean, it's when you're poor, you could still find walls to exercise against to take care of those muscle groups. And this is stuff you do in in prison too, exercising against walls. So this is this is kind of prison type exercise as well but also <laughs> poor man's or prisoners, prisoners or poor man's exercises.